Okay, number 31 reads, one Photoshop charges 36 print cents per print. Another Photoshop charges 2.52 plus 8 cents per print. Juan finds the cost of developing his photos is the same at either shop. How many photos does Juan have to develop? So we're going to let the variable, we're going to, first step is define the variable. Step number one, define variable. Tell me what the variable stands for. Okay, so we're going to let x represent or equal number of photos number of photos one has to develop. Oops, there we go, develop. Oh, level four, pull that up. Let's try that again. I think I'm asleep here. Has to develop. E, V, E, L, O, P. That's what X equals. Number of photos one has to develop. Okay. So on the one hand, so shop number one, right here, I'll label this one. Shop number one charges 36 print cents per print. So here I have 0.36 times x. Then the other shop charges 252 plus 8 cents per print. So over here I have 0.08x plus 252. And he sees that finds the cost of developing his photos is the same. So if this represents the cost at shop 1, and this cost, re and this represents the cost of shop two, and we say they're the same. We say that those two are equal. And basically, what you're going to do to find out how many the number of photos one has to develop, you simply solve this equation. All right. So step number two. Is to actually set this side equal to this side. So now let's subtract 0.08x. If we're trying to get the variable by itself. So this is 0.27x equals 2.52. And now what we'll do is we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 0.27. And this is where you take your handy dandy little calculator and you actually go ahead and make that calculation. So I'm going to go ahead now and go 2.52 divided by 0.27 and I wind up getting 9.333 which is approximately 9 and a third. 9 and a third. So, so we have x is equal to 9 and 1 third. And seeing as how you can't have a third, so we're going to probably go to the next one up. So x is approximately 10 photos.